All right, we're back. Sure. Yeah, for now. So, we need to do any bending or anything like that, or are we going to run it? Any pistons. Pardon? Need some pistons. The, where are my pistons? I need some pistons. Well, you got some pistons right here. I got rich pins, but not pistons. Need a workbench. Real time clean workbench. Did you clean these? Yep. When? Yesterday. You still clean them? Hopefully. Yeah, because we hon we honed those yeah, out. Those are a lot looser than the rods. Yep. That's how you kind of want it to be, right? Yeah, preferably. Where's the uh, clips? The clips are right here. Where's the rings? The rings are right here. These are the right ones? Yep. 50 over. And not the left ones? No, they're the, the top ones. Now, these Brand have, new. These haven't been opened yet? They have not. Look at that. Nice new parts. The new ones they don't even tape anymore. Really? No, so you don't know if you're into or not. It takes too much effort to put a piece of tape across the surface. It's a shame. Where are these go? Uh, on there. Hmm? They go on there. On there. Uh, pistons. Did you mix those up? You didn't mix those up, did you? No, I didn't. Why would I mix them up? Just make sure. Trash pile. Where these go? These go right there. Uh, I forget how you check them. Which one's the big one? Which one's the small one? Big front, small back. Oh, so the small one's gonna be the tightest one. Yep. Mm. So which one's the back cylinder? That's the piston, not a cylinder. Rear cylinder. Which one? I don't know. It's one of those. Which one? Well, they're gonna be half right either way. So which one's the rear? I need to correct one. Uh, that is the rear. Was it a statement or a question? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, you know, look how them work set up. That's the rear. How do you know? Because of this overhang bit is facing the opposite direction. The overhang what? See how like this is bigger than that side? Oh, uh, is that how you tell? That's how I t was able to tell. That's probably not your way of being able to tell. Nope. Because this is right here for the exhaust. And I'll tell you too. What if this one's broken off then? Then you get a new one. Well, you'll be able to tell. And this is the front exit, uh, push rod clearance. Oh, okay. And the push rods are in the middle on the uh, intake. So that means if that's the intake, that'd be a front cylinder because the rear one would be over here. Okay. Yeah. So you got two different things to look at. That and that. Even if all these fins are all broken off, you're still going to have those. Yep, it's true. All right. So, this one goes here. What? This one goes here. I want the small one. That's the small one right there. I want the rear cylinder. So, what's your ring gap you want? Uh, I forget. That doesn't fit in the hole. Is there a gap in there? Where's your light? There is. Can't see squat. It's dark in here. How can we always work in the dark around here? <coughs> is there a gap? Yep. Is that at least 15 tile? I can't tell. You can tell. Is it 20? Maybe. Where's the bottom one? I can't see it. I can't see it either. It's dark. It is dark. Where's the flashlight? It's over here. Put the camera light on it. Camera light is on there, guy. Mm, there's a gap in there. That's good. What about these two? Let's find out.
Look at that gap. See that time I line them up so they're both the same. There you go. You can really see the gap now. That's at least 30 tau. That good? That's uh, better than being tight. True. How about this one? I can't see it. It's little. Why don't you try your thumbnail test? Thumbnail test. Does it fit in there? Yep. Must be the right gap. There you go. Now you pick these up, you can do it two ways. You can pick up in the center. Yep. Like that, pull up. That's one way to do it. You push like this equally, it doesn't break the ring. Definitely don't want to break these rings. How about that one? That one's pretty good. Let's do the old thumbnail test. Yep. Must be fat enough. Now, if you we got equal, clearance. If you lift up equally, yep. then you don't twist the ring and you squeeze it together, you don't scratch the cylinder up. Ooh, fancy. So which way is better? The second way. Mm -hmm. So you push them together, drop them in. Push them over a little bit. Square them with this if you want. Why am I using the other side? Because that will dome's get in the way. Dome's in the way. How about that one? Samsy, Samsys. Gonna fly? Yep. This thing is gonna fly. I'm so excited. How about this one? Last one. What are you gonna do that for, man? I went too far. You did go too far. I'm gonna get that out now. I don't know, man. It's stuck in there forever. My fingers are too big. You can't grab it like that. <laughs> take a chisel, put a mark in it, can you yank it? Yep, that'll work. Oh, look at that. It came right out. Not quite that stuck. How's the gap? Looks good. Okay, it's the same on both ends of the cylinder. It must be straight. That's good. How do I get the ring out now? You turn the cylinder over. Just scratching the inside of my head's like that, man. Look at that. Look at all those scratches now. Yeah. Terrible. Look at all the scratches over here. Oh, there's so many scratches. See those seals marks and the sharp edge on the ring? Yep. Because they didn't need to deburr these things when they cut them and they made them. Now what happens if you put a 45 right there on the gap and knock off the burr? Yeah. What happens? You get uh, leaking? The ring gap increases by whatever hell you just cut it. Yeah. So you go from a 30 thou gap to a 60 thou gap real quick. You don't want that? No, nope, not particularly. And then we don't really have to do anything with these with things, these right? Go. Those go up on here. Where they go? They go up here. How do you know? Because they're thick. Can I put this one up there? Nope. It'll because clearance. that. It'll have clearance. It'll definitely have clearance, but we need to sandwich this guy. Oh. So which one uses which? What do you mean? Which one goes where? Uh, you can tell by the dots that are on them. Somebody mixed them up. Yeah, you did. Stuck. Look at you. Oh, you broke it. <laughs> so you tell by the dot? Yep. What if they all have dots? I don't know. Well, they all have dots. Where's the dot? It's right there. It's all right there. You guys just can't see it because it's a camouflage dot. It's a camouflage dot. So you got a cast iron ring and you got a mully ring. What's a mully ring? Yeah, it's a thing in the box over there. It says Molly on it. So it's the Molly ring. So Molly is, is your top coat, top ring. Oh, okay. Molly is a U. They put they cut a U groove in the ring and they fill it up full of Molly. Oh, okay. Molly them sulfite. Dry film lubricant basically, but a little bit stiffer, a little bit harder, because the other stuff will wear away too quick. So that goes in your top ring. That's why they call it a Molly ring. Oh, well, they're not the same ring, but they're not the same because this one here is ground differently, cut differently. Yeah, because isn't there a lip on it? It has an inside chamfer, which makes the ring bow. When the ring's not square, it flexes differently because it's different amounts of metal. Mm -hmm. So the top of the ring is weaker than the bottom of the ring, so it bows. The ring will actually go like this. And that, that's usually on the downstroke so to keep the it, oil, right? That'll make it scrape the oil off. 
which is what you want. Cool. So you look for a dot or any marking. Dot or markings go up no matter what. Doesn't matter what the ring looks like because they make a reverse twist ring, which is the opposite. Cuts on the bottom. Yeah. But they also make they cut the ring differently. Yeah. So you can't mix the two. Lots of different rings out. Top rings are usually square section. Mm -hmm. So when you feel them, they got two sharp edges. Sharp on that side, sharp on this side. This one here, when you feel it's dull on this side, it's sharp on this side because the chamfer's on the inside. And you can really see it. You look in the cross section right there, you can see it. This one is square or rectangular, so it doesn't matter how it goes in, but if there's a marking, it goes up. So is there any marking on that ring? This one has zero marking. Sometimes you have to highlight it with spit or a scrub pad because it might be really, really faint. But these ones here have no markings. So top rings don't care how they go on. Okay, these are steel. You can twist them all day long unless you really twist them. It doesn't really hurt them. These are cast iron. If you twist them, they stay bent and they're screwed. Because when you twist a ring, it's no longer flat. It will never seal. And we don't want that. If it doesn't seal, it never breaks in because you've screwed it up. <coughs> so this has a gap on it over here. So you don't want to put any gap on the thrust face or on the direct piston side. So that means you work on the 45s. So you stagger it. So our cutout's over here on this side. The gap goes over here for this one. These you can wrap because they're steel. They're flexible. They don't care. You don't want to drag this across your face. You pull that on a little bit so it doesn't scrape up real bad. And it goes over. So you can have my nail under. I can pick it up. But my nails are broken right now. See, right now we're stuck. You win the groove. How's that gonna happen? The wrong one. I have to force it up and over. Okay, so now our gap's right here. Next gap goes way over here. I'm gonna need to go from it. <laughs> These don't matter how they go in, they're all identical. I'm just gonna roll it around like that. Pull that up, drop it in. When you're all done, it should be nice and flexible. Nice and free, no drag. If it drags, it's bent. Can't use it. Are you mixing up my two? I'm over here. Excuse me. Which one is this one? Is there a dot on it? I don't know. I can't see. What's the face, though? Oh, you got a curve. That's the bottom one. Maybe second bottom the oil. So where's your mark? Right there. Right there? That little dot right there? Yep. That goes up. Okay, now if you twist these, you bend them. They're like a spring and it will never seal. So you got to open these up with your thumbs like this. So you stick it in the groove you want to go in. You push up here and it's right wherever it hits the piston and you spread with your thumbs. When you get about that far, you come over here with your thumb and push it over the edge a little bit. And then, oh, it goes in. And the ring should be nice and free and not bind. If it binds, it's bent. Nice and free. That means it's not bent. That's good news. So that means it might break in. This one doesn't matter. So the same thing. Find the spot. Push on it. Ah, sharp. Those are really sharp. So somebody put it with a dome in so I can't get to it as much. And it's nice and free again. Yeah. Rattle, rattle, rattle. Do you want to make sure that the openings are opposite on this one too? Yep. Okay. So we got a gap right here. Mm -hmm. So we'll put a gap over here. I don't care which one's there. There's a gap. And then that one's 180 over. Gap's on this side. Boom. So now you got a gap on each 45, you got a gap. Perfect. And they're nice and free, see? That's what you want. One. One, you only want one? We got one done. Let's nail out another one. Where are these at? What? You didn't put these in yet. We only need to put one in right now. Where's your screwdriver at? Butthead screwdriver coming right up, sir. <coughs> Big, small. Yeah. You said big, small, and you said yes. That's right. So you get this one. I don't want that one. Now this is a big you spring. You almost got me there. 
That's the kind of stupid ass uh, answers I get from customers. They, they open their mouth, something comes out, but doesn't mean a damn thing. This would be called a medium. Yeah. You said big or small. Yeah. This is medium. It's smaller than the big the one. small one is the other one. See, now you're screwing up. Yeah, okay, right. so some guys take these and stretch them out so that they have a easier to put in. And that does two things. Small. So it makes it smaller when you do that. So now it's loose, it'll fall out of the piston, which is Walker wouldn't care if it comes out. And the other thing it does is it gives it a spring that it wants to come out. So now you got something that's small and wants to come out because it's got a spring on it. Two things that make it come apart. Both of those are bad. So what I do is I go like this. You find the ends of them and you just open up just enough to put it in there. You gotta make sure this, it's... This is the rear piston? Yep. So am I gonna be on the left side or the right side of the bike when I put the slip in it? I don't know, man. I think I'm gonna be on the right side because it's the left side's leaning over further. So the light's better on the right. Yes, it is. So that means we're gonna put this on the left side. Where's the left side on the rear piston? Right there. Why is that left? I don't know. Because valves. you're gonna do it. Because the valve goes in center of the motor. Oh, this okay. Is rear. This is like that to be a front. Oh, or, yeah, I totally forgot that I'm there's the, a little. Or I'm on the right side of the piston, not the left. Dumbasses. Okay, so this has to go inside the groove, just like we did on the wrist pin. I mean, on the rings. Got to get down in there. So you push on your finger, like that. See, I'm doing that with one finger. Then I push the this in here as I go around. Turn the light off. I was doing it so they could see. They don't care about them. You're blinding me, though. So then you go and see, now it's stuck in there a little ways. Now you just roll it around the edge. You have to push it in. Uh, right now it's past the groove, so you get it back up into the groove. Here it go pop. Okay, now you just roll it around the circle like this. And just push it down until it goes into the groove. Get to the last part. We'll go pop and go in. Except I'm not in the groove. It did not go pop. It did not. Easier than go pop. That means this clip doesn't want to go into the hole. There you go. It went in there that time. Definitely heard it. It was a little bit too deep. It was the end, the ring was past the pole. So when you look at the clip and you can see both sides are equal, it's probably in a hole. When one side's, when they're like that, you're good. If it's one step like that, it's probably out. Now I always take my screwdriver and go like this in a circle. Make sure it's pushed all the way out, because sometimes they're tight. And then you want to make sure the same thing, the groove looks good. And the last test is, you go like this. Here it sounds good and solid. Yeah. That's a good sign. This sounds kind of springy. You're not hard. You're not in there. Nope. Okay, that's that one. What's this one? It's the front. Okay, where's this one go? It's gonna go on the set, uh, opposite side. Am I in the right spot? So no. Why? Wait, yes. I don't know. I'm confused now. It's a no and a yes. Which one is it? See, that's the normal answer I get from dumbasses. I don't it's, know. Like, it's like a yes no, but it's a no yes. Maybe so. Where's the intake? Back there somewhere. You're a fucking genius. Intake goes in the center. Dumbass. Told you I didn't know, man. Jeez. How soon he forgets. Now these spiral locks tend to stay in better than the circlip style. But these are a little bit harder to install and definitely harder to take out.
Mm-hmm. Look, it's in there. Is that hard? It sounds a little springy. Looks all right, though. Must be his ears. Probably. What do you do with it? Oh, it's over here. There's the gap. Hiding it from me. Yep. The reason I start on that side is because I go around this side. I'm closing the gap up right now early. Because you don't want to go over the top of each other. These big ones are fairly easy to do. The new bikes have those real thin ones that are a pain in the ass to do. They like to overlap real bad. They even go into cylinder overlapped. That's even worse. Yeah. But the piss is really hard to go up and down when they're like that. That's your clue you did it wrong. And if you don't notice it, you put it together and you run the bike, it oils like crazy, you know it's wrong. See, this time I got the, I didn't do it with that was, see. Harder your thumbs. Yep, yep. 180. Yep. Nice and free. Nice and free. Cool. Right. Where's the oil? Oil is right here. Mm -mm. You said oil. Mm hmm. That's oil. Okay. So if you want me to give you a different one, tell me which one you want. Am I working on the oil tank or am I working on the motor? Working on the motor. Well, give me some oil. Dumbass. Just tell me which oil to get. What are we doing? We are assembling. We need assembly oil. Really? Because that says lube. It says assembly. Lube. I'm going to lube you. Better watch out. You say oil, I got you oil. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Don't miss. Fucking asshole. Hey, <laughs> okay, that was two squares at once. Yep. I got, gotta cash it. I gotta cash in. If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna go all out. <laughs> that counts for one? It only counts for one. It's one sentence, it's one swear. Where's the dumpster at to start filling up? <laughs> you gotta fill that up in about a day and a half. Yeah, it will. We'll get that uh, swear jar filled. We're gonna need a five gallon thing. Boy, we're gonna need a dumpster for you. <laughs> We're gonna be very poor. <laughs> <coughs> so we just put a little bit of oil, only about an inch. Well, that's all you need. A lube, not oil. This stuff's so thick it's almost grease. I like it. All right. What else we got to do? Uh, do we need to wrap it that at all we need to on the up, pistons? We need to loop the wristband holes. Like that. Probably you can't see what I'm even doing a bit with that camera. You got it so close. Oh, you can see everything. Everything. Mm -hmm. Can you see the lube? Yep. Yeah, I can see how it's not oil. <laughs> Still a dumb. <laughs> Got you good. <laughs> All right. Where's that piston go? Uh. It goes in the rear one. Which is where? Let's have a look. We've got the uh... I'm looking on this one right now. What's that? That's the uh, the little tab there. <coughs> so, that means this is the exhaust side because you can see the little cutout right there. Mm -hmm. So this needs to go here. Is this the rear one? Yeah, sure. No, that's the front one. So. Sure? 
I do no when you do that that's when I started second guessing and instead of just being like yep that's it or no that's wrong you're like well, I don't know if that's right or not go figure it out is it right or wrong <laughs> no, I guess <laughs> Spell the dumbass. Got a spring out of there. Bruh. My spring compressor. Yep. Like Fingers. Spring crisper. Got two. <laughs> All right. Here's my hammer. You need a hammer? Yes. Which hammer do you want? The steel one or the plastic one? Which one do you want me to beat on your damn pistons with? I'd rather a plastic one. This guy right here. Pretty good. <laughs> did good. <laughs> yeah. I finally did something right. I'm already done, but yeah, good job. Can you see how I do it? Where's the gap? The gap? It's right there. Mm -hmm. Right where? Where's the gap? What gap? What am I putting in? This is the... Oh man, I'm tired. Ring gap, dumbass. Ring gap. That's how you put them in, they squeeze together. Yeah. Okay. Ring, gap, in there. Squeeze and drop. The old squeeze and drop, huh? So it goes in. Next gap's on this side, remember? Yep. Why is it on this side? Because it has to be the opposite because way. it's not on that side, that's why. Yeah. I know that part. <laughs> so you just push it with your thumb, see? Yep. Put a little bit of downward pressure on the piston, and it goes in. All right. Nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. There we go. Pinch your thumb if you get in the way. Where's the other gap? Right there. No, it's already in. It's already, yeah, it's already in, so you just got to push that side in. No, oil ring's a little bit harder to do. So what you do, you kind of walk it back and forth, and it self-compresses on you, see? Until oh, you cool. that one. See, now we're on top of the gap, and we're on top of the ring, so we're buttoning it against the ring hard, it won't go in that way. Yeah. So you have to move that up a little bit, mm -hmm. over here, and you push this one in a little bit. Get it to go in. See how no, it goes okay. in? There you go. And you push it in. So Brilliant. I can, I can use my hand or I can use my hammer. See? Nice. You got more control with this than your palm. Yeah. They got to come back up and run it too far. See? So you go up a little bit that way, a little bit this way, a little bit that way, a little bit that way. So you know it's up high enough to put the wrist pin in it. Sweet. It looks like that one. Hey! Well, what didn't we do? <clears throat> oh, Jesus, I don't know. We didn't look any goop on there yet. We did not put any goop on there yet. The wrist pin's in my way now. <laughs> well, you know what's really cool, though? You're going to probably goop up the wrist pin. You could totally do that. No, because now it was already lubricated, now it's not. What do you mean, now it's already lubricated, now it's not? I just pushed it in. And you shoved the oil all the way through it. What oil all the way now through? The wrist pin's all gooey. See how this wrist, wrist pin's clean still on the outside edge? Yeah. See the lubricant ended right there. It's still clean right now. This one's filthy. Oh no. And the lubricant now is gone out of that side. Because when I pull it back this way, the lubricant comes out this way. So we have to put a little bit more lube in there so after we wipe it down. Get, oh no. Now I'm going to get dirty. Good thing I got my rag down here. And I got to relubricate the wrist pin. Jeez. The wrist pin hole? Yes. See, he knew the difference. <laughs> okay, where's the goop? <clears throat> Gasket sealer. It says goop on it, doesn't it? Okay, new cans. Is it going to open or not? Oh, that was easy. Yeah, it was. Easier to glue shut. This is clear now. Not that yellowish color like it used to be. They also put a lot bigger hole in here now too. That's good. Not really. It just makes more in here. 
Now, I don't know if this stuff's going to stick to this fancy paint you got here. The sealer might not work. We'll find out. Well, it definitely dissipated uh, oil off it pretty good. Yep. So, and maybe. Blood. You did a blood test, didn't you? A what? A blood test. What's a blood test? Did you put blood all over it? Oh, yeah, no, I, did. I definitely did. There's blood all over those things. In the goop. What? Goop pad. You've had that that same piece of cardboard since 1962. Nope. <laughs> Probably about 97 or 99, I bet. And I just peeled off the half inch layer of goo that was on it, so I'm back to a fresh layer again. <laughs> This is a CCI gasket or something. Oh no, this is a chrome slider covers for FL. Stock length. Cowbells. Nice. Cowbells were in that. That's good cardboard. I've been using it for a while now. Yep. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I used to have one for primary gaskets too, it's a lot bigger. Oh yeah? yeah? What happened? I quit using it. Why? It was too big getting away all the time. So now I just do the gaskets and hold them. All right. So this one gooped up now? Yeah, it looks pretty good. That's important you put these in the right spot. And you can tell by the uh, pattern. Now right the... now, the piston's in the way, so you gotta make sure you don't goop up the piston when you stick it on there. This should have been done beforehand, but somebody interrupted me in the process. Yeah. So in the gasket, you have a thin spot and a thick spot. Yeah. So it helps to have the right spot. So the gas gets thick and thin. Mm -hmm. Thin, thick. So Would have been nice if we got a thick gasket that wasn't paper. Cylinder is the same. Well, whatever. We do have those. They just cost thirty-six dollars a set, a pair. You didn't say you wanted to use those. Well, now you want to use those instead of these? I told you I wanted to use them. The only thing that we needed to, from that thing was, from that whole kit, was the cork, those two. The head. No. Oh, well, yeah, the brass ones or copper ones. So you want to use the other gas besides these or what? We're already using them. No, I can, they're not on there yet. You, well, you already charged me for it. Unless you want to... You tell me what you want to do. Just put them on. These come in the gasket set, so... See, on the shovel, they give you a good set. On the sports, they only make one set. The cheap one. Let me do the gasket roll. I just hope I don't have to redo these anytime soon. Oh, well what you get for putting cheap ass gaskets on there. You sold them to me. That's right. Why you have cheap stuff, bro? because uh, these aren't climatic. They're what? Climatics are even worse. Yeah, that's good. Then at least I didn't get the worst kind. Or you get those, those uh, Italian ones. That's the Italian the, ones, huh? The Athenas. What are those? Those are the other ones that I don't like. Why? Why don't you like them? Because they have big holes and everything. Why do you want big holes in gaskets, man? Aren't you supposed to not have holes in gaskets? Except for where they're studs? Yeah, but the holes are twice as big as what they need to be. So they have like a half inch hole for a 3 a stud hole. It doesn't make any sense. Well, that's what I said, that's why I don't like their gaskets. Hmm. Athenas are that way and so are the Cometics. Because they're cheap ass gaskets. James has a 3 a hole for a 3 a hole. But they're going tighter. Where's your wrist pin at? In there. Yeah. Not yet, but it's going to be. Look at that. It's in there now. Yeah. Amazing how that worked. Cool. Did you lubricate the wrist pin holes? These guys? Yeah. Nope. I'll do that right now. Is there oil on them yet? No. What? Red. Are they red on the inside? It's lube. Did you lubricate the oils? Maybe it puts half a gallon in there. Yep. Oh, she scratched it. 
I saw it. Oh, he dropped it too. That's it. Heck yeah, you like that? I'm gonna have to rebuild it. You like that, huh? You dirty, dirty I'm machine. Have to rebuild it. <clears throat> oh yeah. Oh. Oh, you're filthy. Oh. You're so lubed up now. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> JJ too long. No, get out of here. Oh yeah. Oh you're you're so lubed up now. Ooh. <laughs> um I'm hilarious. I'm so funny. We'll let that we'll see what they say about that. <clears throat> JJ's gonna say something like, oh kick him out of the shop. <laughs> Keyboard warrior. <laughs> well, you already want me to ban him. I didn't say that. But, I mean, if he wants to keep on being negative all the time, that's his decision. Where's the nuts? Right there. Where's the, uh, where's the lube? The lube? Right here. I need a couple screwdrivers too. We're con. Ones I don't have here. Well, that's pretty much all of them. Good. Give me some screwdrivers. I'll give you two. So fit. Oh, it does not fit in here. Here. Down that for you. Drop it in there. Oh, we'll just get that magnet thing that you got. Very important to put that rag down. You really don't want to be losing that thing in there. It's a pain in the butt. Yeah. You know, the wise goes are stainless, so the magnet don't help you. Oh, yeah, that's right. I can't see anything over here. You want me to get, bring a light? That means I gotta have a better feel on what I'm doing. Is turn that better? No. Turn it off. Is that better? No, turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here just trying to help out my friend. It's all done by feel anyway. Oh, yeah? Well, yeah, you can't really, it's hard to see down there. Especially on the wrong side of the bike. Yeah. <laughs> You're all the way over here. <laughs> you can't see that hole at all. Uh, getting all that oil everywhere. That red oil. Lube. <laughs> oh, it's lube now? It's lube. <laughs> it's lubricated. Reach around. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it's the wrong one. <laughs> no! <laughs> the valve pocket's in backwards. No! <laughs> I've done that before. Oh, man. Might as well help. Don't drop into that hole over there, though. I won't. Custom patina hardware. Yeah. Limited edition. This one's all full of rust on the thread. Jeez. Hey, it's Loctite. Nature's Loctite. <laughs> Something. Okay, twist it. Why is this one being a butt? 
Uh, yeah, that's the bottom down. There we go. Look at that. Look, one finger the whole way. How brilliant. It's when you know the threads are clean. And on this side, I scraped up my wrist. Why'd you do that? Black's attacking me. Why are you do? Well, don't get her angry. Well, that was loose as hell. Yeah, I know, because I only did it finger tight. Here, I'll, here, I'll do it. I can do it. I don't have to look at it. Alright. Calm down. I can't see it doesn't mean it can't work. Look at that. Fancy. That one? Yep. Give me a second. There you go. Hey, Quay, hey, hey. Oi, what'd you do that for? On the clean floor. <laughs> what are you doing that? Brilliant. That's what that's what he did. There you go. Clean it up. I'll be right back. <coughs> nope, not in there. Blow it off. Blow it off? Yeah, blow the crop off of it. Hurry up. It's Over there with your yep, sorry. So the ring drag is so heavy I can actually turn a piston up and down past top dead center. So that's bad. It's not optimal. That means I can turn the motor over. That means the ring drag is low. Is that good? Good for power. Starting to look like a bike. Mm -hmm. Exciting. Put her skirt on there for you. It's like those things that you get put on you when you're about to get a haircut. <laughs> when was the last time you got a haircut there, guy? Looking like a hippie. Make me work all damn day and night. When I get time to do that, I'll get a I'll get a buddy to swing by, cut your hair. What do you say? Get you a nice buzz cut. Give you a mohawk, something. I don't think so. No. I think you'd look good with a high and tight. Dark over here. You want a light? You're supposed to be videotaping what I'm doing here. I am videotaping. What did I just do? You're putting the wrist pin uh, spring in there. You got any proof of that? Yeah, I do. How do you know? Because I saw you pull it apart and jam it in there with your little fingers. See my light? There you go, boss. Oh, geez. Appears to be in there. That's good news. I'm going to be in the straight. I'm going to be crooked. Us walking bikes, we don't care. It's true. With my oil. Your lube? My oily lube. <laughs> Clunk. Quit scratching it. Cool. Look at that. It's 
It's looking pretty nice. Somebody up front. Let me see. I don't see anyone. Nope. Foot cable's in the way. What? Foot cable's in the way. You want me to move it? No, I just worked around it. Okay. I, I can still work if I can't see. <laughs> I bet you could do half of this blindfolded. That wouldn't surprise me. Oh, jeez, it went all the way up. <laughs> Whoa! Appears to be gurgling. Hey, gotta be careful. Don't want to start kicking out all that oil. <laughs> See how the oil pre-lubes the cylinder for you? Yep. Can't see the camera though. Nice. Top bit of center rear. Yep. Howdy, partner. Sounded good. It's passing gas over here. That's what my stomach sounds like after too much Mexican. Okay. <laughs> so we're coming up on top dead center rear cylinder right now. So all you do is get this up the very top and put the two push rods over here and adjust them. Can you put these on? Not right now. Nope. Where's your bolts? Which bolts? These things. Do all this. All right, take a break. I get some tools. <laughs> 